Hello everyone and welcome back to Spelarkivet. My name is Krister and this is the Grave Ward boss fight on normal mode. Now this boss fight has a uh, introduction phase which is just to kill these uh, wardens. Which is fairly easy. And the fight itself is nothing particular. Nothing specifically challenging. So, um, as you notice, there's no intro screen, but uh, as you dispatch the wardens, the the, uh, the um, fight itself will begin. And Grave Ward has a um, very distinct or repetitive loop that it goes through, and one of them is when he shifts the whole plate. So you have to either jump down into these holes, which are on both sides, or just jump in place also works. And while that is happening, as you could see, uh, corrosive balls are f falling along along the uh, platform. And first time doing this, I, w I w didn't know what was happening, so that's why I died. Um, you of course have to avoid the um, highlighted areas. Because that's uh, where, obviously, where the uh, next attack is coming, and they are also colored, so yellow or green, in in this case. Grey Ward also spawns these additional mobs. If you get hit by these corrosive bolts, you take f a fair amount of damage, so try to avoid them. And as, as always with any boss fight, you should try to hit the highlighted areas. In this case, I should have aimed for his left hand, which was uh, exposed. It's difficult to know what to shoot at, but in general, highlighted areas is a good thing to try to hit. As they are usually critical hits. So li like this, uh, for instance, try to hit the uh, yellow inside his arm. And again, Mr. Chew My Pet. Um, is of immense help when it comes to dealing with the ads. It's about to tilt the platform, so just get down on the hole or jump in place. I think there's only two sort of opportunities to shoot at an, at an exposed area. One of them is when he's either attacking with, with a left jab or a right jab, like this. Or when he sort of crouches down at, I'm not sure if it's the 50% mark, then you can shoot his sort of middle eye or whatever it is. Rip them to 
and would also uh, be um, critical hits. Time for a tilt. As you may have noticed, um, my pet doesn't have a, any problem at all dealing with the uh, different a additional enemies. So I can concentrate on the main boss. And here you go, uh, the sort of eye, the third eye. I believe his attack pattern will change after 50% or was it 25% I can't recall but I remember having like yeah these sweeping uh, fire attacks and to avoid them try to stay at the uh, top corners left or right corners Or at the you know very ends uh, of the platform. This is not a, a good spot to be in. They also almost always seem to tilt the platform to the right, but I do remember it tilting to the left once or twice. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be totally random and it just went to the uh, right all the time, or um, or if it's if it's some kind of pattern behind it. Shoot the eye again. <laughs> Even Mr. Chu is attacking, that's... I didn't notice that before. I don't think the additional spawned enemies take damage from the uh, fire attacks that uh, the boss launches. I, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I do believe they take damage from the uh, rolling corrosive bolts. So if you manage to avoid them, they can still hit um, the, uh, the enemies that are sort of downhill. I still haven't learned how to avoid this fire attack, apparently.
Okay, so the uh, patterns doesn't actually change, um, except for the uh, sweeping fire attack. I guess. Oh, that's a hard hit. It's time for another. Well, it always seems to turn to the right, so I remember. I actually remember it going to the left one time, at least. But okay, must have been mistaken. And it's also strange that it, there's actually a hole on both sides. So maybe he tilts towards the uh, uh, side that you're actually on when he's trying to tilt. I seem to stay on the right side a lot when, when that happens. And the boss should be down. Yep, and that's it. It's not a uh, particularly challenging um, fight in any way. You just have to learn the pattern as always and just, you know, keep moving. And as always, it helps to have a pet that can help dispatching the um, the additional enemies. So just grab your loot and uh, continue on with your missions. Tannis, are you okay? So right, thank you for watching.